All right, welcome back to part two of our study called The Sons of Noah. And we're looking at uh, a, a section we I want to call Remember the Nations. So as Moses is writing scripture, he's reminding God's people where they came from and their place amongst the nations. Remember that at the time of the writing, the nation of Israel has been newly formed. Before they were Jacob's family, who was sojourning in the land of Egypt under the control of the Pharaoh. Now they were a nation under God, heading for their home, the land of promise. Before they took the land, they needed to be reminded of where they came from and who they are, all of which their genealogy would help them understand. So from this genealogy, we see that there's one big family. It says right there, these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Sons were born to them after the flood. This is another one of those chapter headings that we've seen already. This signals that we have left Noah's story and are now heading into a new era of history. The world, the old world, was gone, and the new has begun. Chapters 10 and 11 are really transitional chapters that lead us from talking about all the people of the world down to talking about one specific family. But before we go there, Moses wants us to take note that all nations that he's about to list come from three guys, Noah's sons. In a way, all the nations are cousins. They're all related. They not come from different origins, but they all have a common ancestor. This is really in direct contradiction to those in the past that have supported the idea of polygenesis, which is the belief that the different ethnicities and nations evolved from different creatures. So the Bible doesn't support that. It's a blessing to see how genetic research today is proving the Bible true again. In fact, genetics is showing us that even the racial identities that are so divisive today are a lot more fluid than we realize. A family can have a change of color in only a matter of a few generations. So you can go from being a black family to a white family in only a few generations. It's amazing to see what genetics has proven today. But all that aside, we've got to remember that we're separate but related. That Noah and, and Moses is trying to show that Noah's family is separate, but they're related. And so we'll see that uh, phrase over and over again here in, in the book of Genesis. This is important because the rest of Genesis and the following, uh, and the following stories, there is an emphasis on separation here. The Israelites were called by God over and over again to separate themselves from the nations. So here we have that truth again, that they are not to separate themselves because the other nations are subhuman or they're just not worthy uh, of getting to know or there's something wrong with them. You know, really the problem that is wrong with the other nations is the same problem that Israel has, is that they're all sinners. And so God talks about separation because he warns them if they go along with the other nations, then they're going to end up worshiping other gods, not him. And so he's trying to keep them separate because of their relationship with God. He's setting them apart and saying, here, I have a special relationship with you. I want you to know me. I want you to be with me. And he says, if you go with these other nations, if you intermarry with them, if you, if you hang out with them, if you don't get rid of them, then you're going to become just like them. He's warning them from the bat, right off the bat, that that's going to happen. So, we see what happens later on, obviously, that that's exactly what happens. He warned them about it, and they fall into that trap. So, But God shows them the line of Shem here, the, the family of Noah, and specifically Shem, to be called out from the other nations. The Israelites were to keep separate because God knew that they would be drawn into the other nations' sins. That's it. That's what they did. And so here we have the separate, but we don't want to keep, they're not apart, separate because of something special about the nation of Israel. It's only God's choice that makes them different. 